Tattoos can be all about self-expression and I think that is a big part of it for me too and I think that's like amazing and beautiful. It's like decorating your own body. It's like showing your inner self literally on the out outside, you know, on your skin. So hi, I'm Alex. I'm 24. I'm non-binary. I use they them pronouns. So talking favorites in tattoos is really hard to do but I think some are a little bit more special to me than others and I think one of the most special ones is the one on my chest it's like the, the big peony-esque flower and that has to do with the feeling it gave me and I always had this thing about my chest like the the, the flat scrawny chest I had I felt uncomfortable with it and just putting this like giant black flower on it it really made me love my chest it made it like i loved seeing it and i loved displaying it and it just turned into this this art piece and reclaiming your body as your own i think that is super special and beautiful and magical i'm pablo restrepo i'm from colombia i came to amsterdam three years ago I um, I'm chef actually. That's also my hobby. I like astrophysics. Is what I want to study. I love tattoos. I came to Amsterdam uh, to find a new life, to search for something, uh, for something new, for something more interesting. To see new movements of people, to see how alternative life can work together. I find that people in here, in whole Europe, especially in Amsterdam, of course, people is much more open about it. People doesn't judge you for your how you look like, they judge you much more for who you are and deeper. My most recent tattoo is uh, this one, it's a mushroom and uh, it actually doesn't have any meaning but it's one of my favorites as well. Another one from my favorites is the one I have on my uh, left arm. A representation of uh, the time being a relative thing. Uh, it's just a representation of uh, how small we are and how uh, time can really get us in, uh, in another thing that is just bigger there that we don't really understand but we try. About the tools, I think that uh, you never should regret them. Some of them are uh, for moments, some of them are for different reasons, some of them are just because I felt like having that kind of tattoo. It's kind of uh, something that vibes with me and with my personality and I just have it as a memory or as a way of expressing, as I already said, uh, yeah, myself. The tattoo of my dog in my chest. I would say that she's the love of my life. It's just what I love the most is in this world and what I could die for, literally. She uh, just, she's just been there for uh, for the biggest part of my life and the hardest moment. And uh, it's just such a connection, such a pure love that you just have to have it. It's the biggest tattoo I also have. And uh, I just gonna have her always close to my heart and there with me. I'm 18 and um, I live in Amsterdam East, like east side of Amsterdam. Um, I play the guitar and I actually stick and poke tattoos myself. Tattoos in general mean, um, it's actually an, an art form for me. So it's, it's literally art you can wear on your body. And for me, it always has a story behind it. I don't, well, I, I don't necessarily uh, get a tattoo just because it's pretty. I often have like a background story or a meaning behind it. And if I don't have a meaning behind it, I'll make up a meaning behind it because I like my tattoos to have that bit of a background story. Everybody goes through ups and downs and um, I kind of learn through trial and error. So I fall and I get up again and like that's kind of the idea, like put a bandaid on it and go on. <laughs> that was pretty much like the meaning of this tattoo. So I wanted a moon in it and I wanted like this little creature in it. The ruling planet of cancer is the uh, moon. So I was like, okay, that's pretty cool. It's weird connection between that. I liked that it was kind of processed in this tattoo. 